whenever. should be abolished um, nationally because um, Common Core does not do what it claims to do for our nation. It is unfair between the poor and um, between the poor and the disabilities, the disabled. Um, it is way more expensive than what it's worth and it hinders on new teaching skills and um, new teaching jobs that may or may not be available <coughs> in the future. According to um, Valerie Strauss, um, she wrote an, order, uh, an article about um, eight problems with Common Core standards on the Washington Post. She states the Common Core standards are a setup for national standards tests, tests that can't evaluate um, complex thought, can't avoid cultural bias, can't measure nonverbal learning, and cannot predict anything of consequence. Because um, our test is new, there. The, the test, even though it's been seven years, we still don't know what the capable, what it's capable of, what it, what it's capable of, or um, even if we should take the risk for it. Uh, and then um, Common Core also, according to Joy Pullman in The Federalist, she states that Common Core is um, told students and teachers and parents that um, the test will tell them exactly where the student is in terms of their educational level, yet this is untrue. Common Core um, is actually non-transparent at all, and in fact, it makes it more complicated for parents, especially parents <coughs> of immigrants, no, immigrants, parents of the immigrants, to even understand this new standard. Then continue to my next argument of how it is unfair between the poor and the disabled. Uh, according to myths and facts, uh, this is specifically on the actual Common Core website. The standards are designed to build upon the most advanced current thinking about pre uh, prepping all students for success in college and uh, career and life. Results are moving to the best standards uh, that the state can be. But this question is what if, um, for example, a student can't learn to the best what happens to those uh, particular students. <coughs> uh, according to William Clem, uh, who is a psychologist, he states that the country is a whole mixture of suburban and ghettos. The gout promotes multiculturalism, yet the tests, uh, the national live standards test, has such a cookie cutter <coughs> placement for the rest of the students. It's not really looking at the big picture of what America really is. It's just looking at you have to learn this, this, and this, this way, instead of really promoting new ways of thinking for the students. Uh, this also, uh, according to, again, the, the website, um, this is about disabilities. Um, they claim that because of the Higher Educational Opportunity Acts, the disabled students, um, uh, the, it promotes a culture of high expectations for all students that is the fundamental goal of the Common Core State Standards. In order to participate with success in the general curriculum, students with disabilities as appropriate may be provided additional supports and services. Yet according to really, um, according to public schools, this, te uh, this teacher, Catherine Beals, she states that what happens to the 6% of the significant with cognitive disabilities. Her class um, cannot understand many of the curriculums that are taught by the Common Core. Uh, the passages are too confusing for them and they get frustrated, thus this kind of decreases their will to learn even more. Uh, my next argument is that um, Common Core is outrageously expensive. According to Joy Pullman, in estimate Common Core cost to uh, Common Core to cost California nearly eight, uh, ten billion dollars. As she states, a California Commission had just decided the technology for Common Core tests are an unfunded mandate, which means the um, the states and taxpayers must pay for it. So right now, California pays approximately $4 billion for local public school to fund for Common Core. Uh, for now, this number does not look um, very bad, but if you look at the whole nationality of it, um, about $9.2 billion um, nationwide has to pay for Common Core. Uh, 
even oh, according to per Perry Caramonte in the article High Cost of Common Core Has States Running Away by Fox News, he states that um, when uh, the states even wanted to have Common Core, they didn't really know what they were walking into. They didn't think about the cost or any of the cost analysis. They were basically paying blindly to what might not even be a possible truth in helping our education. And this creates a backlash, again, with the Joy Coleman article. Because California and the federal government, right now, we are in highly debt. In two years, our generation will have to pay double the amount, which means we would have to pay $8 billions in California and total nationwide $16 billion for Common Core. Uh, and then, yeah. <coughs> uh, the, my last <coughs> argument is that it hinders new teaching skills and jobs in Cal uh, it hinders uh, teaching jobs because right now Common Core it has such a strict and set legitimate uh, like uh, process of teaching that it is kind of scaring the new future teachers into either changing their jobs or into changing their jobs or just um, teach with not passion at all. According to Joy Pullman, uh, one teacher who won a technically Nobel Prize for Teachers states that she recommends that teachers who want to teach and who are creative and inspirational to teach in private sectors instead of public school because that's the only way where their creativity and inspirational ways of teaching instead of the standardized common core teaching can really thrive and not be oppressed by the system. And um, according to her, again, this diminishes any new ways of teaching that um, the teachers may have. 